and welcome back to another video. We are here at Pinnacle Auto Works, the shop where everything has been going down lately. And I'm not here alone today. I got Technique from Otaka Designs. I'll put, you know, his link for his Instagram in the description below. So make sure to check him out. He does really like to take pictures so you guys can go and enjoy everything he posts out there. All right. And with that being said, guys, you know, he's working on his wheels today. We also going to be working on gauge cluster bumpers and also we're gonna try the rear bumper out on my car and see if there's any fixes we need to do and hopefully hopefully we can get to the oil cash can today as well but anyway anyway guys thank you so much for everyone who's been subscribing liking and sharing the video and also commenting if there is any at times <laughs> but with that being said guys thank you so much now let's get into this video we also found this little jam around here She's been going astray for a long, long time, but hey, we're gonna give, we all gonna give her to a good home. So, one rescue dog on the bucket list, done. <laughs> hey, girl. She's such a cutie, guys. Look at her. She's ready for a new home. Not mine, but someone's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, so we're about to install the oil catch can. So right here, we got the engine. And right around here, we're going to make a bracket that's going to come, have two bolts hold it right there, come up, and hold the catch can right up here against the cold air intake so that this hose right over here can go into one of the, the um, intake or the outtake that it's supposed to go into. So, yeah. We're about to do it. I'm going to put you guys on it. You guys are going to see the process. And then you guys can install a Noah catch can on your TCs as well. Alright. So I'm going to set you guys up. And let's get started. Kind of to see where it needs to come out. So from here to where it you know, forms an L come up. Looking at about 5 inches. So just aluminum. At five inches. Should use a sharpie, but I got a screwdriver. Knock it right there. I'm gonna use this table to my advantage. Clamp it, and it's just pretty much bending it. Right here. So, let me get a proper tool, Sharpie. Follow that man at a Tarky Designs. So, I'm pretty much gonna sit this up. Make sure this is at a 90 degree. I was gonna sit, I'm pretty much right here. So all I'm gonna do is cut it off right here. Guys, so that's how the oil catch can is gonna sit. Push right there, and it's further over than I want it to be. So bend the metal back a little. Um, trying to to bend it back. Hey guys, so we're putting it back together before putting it on the bracket because that way you guys can actually put the top bolts back in without struggling or having to shave off the top of that bracket because it did go a little bit over so we're installing it first and then we're going to attach it to the bracket as you can see with the bolts still on there so the way all you have to tighten is the back part 
the reason we're making a custom bracket is because this oil catch cans do not come with the pre-made bracket there's no catch can universal like this one that comes with the pre-made bracket for the Scion TC so they do tell you when you're buying it that you do have to make a custom bracket and this is as simple as it gets you guys can do this at home so make sure you guys like this video comment and subscribe all right and again I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the video and with that installed and everything like that all right let's do it so here we go guys a little quick paint to the bracket so it doesn't look stupid and just a piece of silver metal in there you know make it sleek This is how professionals use spray paint cans. <laughs> With a <the> broken cap. <laughs> With a <the> broken cap. It's <laughs> the worst paint job I ever did. Oh, here we go. Somebody's here to pick up the doggy. You got the cage in the back and everything. Josh! Alright, guys, so make sure you put some nylon tape right there. So nothing's gonna be able to escape and it's gonna sit in there nice and tight. Just took the cover off. Get some things nice. Um, it's dirty. We might have to finish this tomorrow. Slap this on here. Going really smooth. <laughs> it's tight. <laughs> Damn. You need some lube. With you. <laughs> there we go. See, slid right in. And catch so many cans. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not yet. Damn. I bought the right size. Done. All right. And that's how you install an oil catch can, guys. Let's check and see how much is in there. It's dry. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, most of the times you guys see him, he's serious, hard at work, but he does have a humorous side. So. All right, guys. So, hey. We got the oil catch kit installed, as you guys can see right here. We got the hoses, everything nice set up. So I hope you guys learned on how to do this on your own. And um, it's a very simple process, all right? You just gotta make a custom bracket, look for a place where you can put it, as you saw where we put ours. You know, put it there, catch can is good to go, get the hoses, get the right size, and put them on, all right? Hey, anyway, thank you guys. Thank you for everybody that's new to the channel. Thank you for hitting the like button, for commenting, for sharing the video, and for simply watching it. And um, with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Ah!